What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're going to be talking about this after image of Butterfly event, because, well, the chest event is interesting for free-to-play players. Overall, I do think this is a hard skip week. It is too RNG dependent, and it does require... 1500 plus heroic scrolls to guarantee even just one core of origin chest now technically you could high roll and maybe we can do that on our main account here this week since we are going to go all in on this event uh however for the average player should most definitely skip now the one thing i want to talk about and that's the main part of this uh this video here is going to be the after image of butterfly the shadow chest there's only a 0.5 percent chance to get this correct so this is an interesting one because technically you could get it correct very early on get this pay to an artifact chest and 35 of these mirage keys and then those keys can be used here and technically technically you can you can get them like you can you can get the stuff really early on the 31st try and after so there is a chance it can happen uh we of course are going to do the whole event but maybe on our free to play account it might turn out a little different We'll have to see, but uh, this event right here is the main part, and that's what we're going to talk about right now. So for this event right here, if you want to unlock all of the progress, you essentially are going to want to purchase 40 of these. Now you can see here that your random rewards are pretty even across the board. A couple of them have like a 0.1%, a little bit higher up. Uh, we're going to go for... Actually, you know what? I don't even know if I want to go for the whole event because, like, there's a lot of resources we don't need. However, Heroic Scrolls is a nice thing. Master Toolboxes, the sublimations and everything. Kind of useless for us because you can kind of see what we have. We're just, we just have so many nowadays. It's really not worthwhile. However, uh, we definitely... Actually, you know what? I don't even know if we necessarily need these because we've already done all the packages. We've already done the relay. So we've already done all the value packages. And of course the uh, the full relay, we, we purchased this out and everything. So we have all those cards there. Um, I haven't done my summons yet. We will do that and that'll give us a few more, but uh, yeah, let's see. I guess we just go for 40. It's only 20,000 gems. We do have a ton of them still anyway. Let's see if we get lucky. Now, the annoying part about this event is you literally have to do them one at a time. Just literally one at a time. Uh, so it will be a bit tedious. I wish you could like pick the combo. It is 100% RNG. We are literally pulling a slot machine here. And uh, if we don't get it by the 40th, it is guaranteed. But again, it's only a 0.5% chance to high roll, which I guess if you don't want to spend a ton of gems or you don't necessarily want all the resources from this event and you want to try to save up for anniversary, do these in small purchase quantities if you're going to do it. You don't have to go all in on 20,000 right out of the gate. Uh, you can take it slow and see if you get lucky. I've seen someone literally get it like within the first 10 on Reddit. Oh, wow, this is triggering me. You guys notice this bar is like... The fill on the bar is offset to the left. Wow, that's kind of <laughs> that's kind of triggering my OCD portion of this. Uh, so yeah, we're getting a lot of like sublimation essences, which for free to play players and stuff, that's pretty good because these events will add up resources over time to the point where you'll get free nodes and everything. So why did that one feel like it spun for so long? But yeah, so far so bad this is not looking super great for us here uh we're not really hitting anything good really like the only thing i want from this at this point on our main account stellar shards like that's that's literally the one thing i want there we go seventeen thousand stellar shards per pull uh pretty good for 500 gems however you're getting a lot of useless stuff like super wishing coins i think i'm like almost up to a thousand or something we just might burn them all at once one time look at how many wishing super wishing coins we're getting which Wish coins do mean things like profit orbs. It does mean things like heroic scrolls. So as a free-to-play player, they're not horrible. Plus, they help you get your monthlies done as well once you finish Brave Trial. Um, yeah, this is looking a little iffy. I don't think we're going to hit it early, personally. I don't think most people are going to hit this early. It's such a low percentage chance to actually get it. 
And uh, I wonder if it's the same for everybody. Wait, that one felt like it shook extra hard, didn't it? It just kind of felt like it shook harder than normal. Ah, uh, no, I guess not. I guess not. Up to the Why can't there just be like a use all button? Especially when you already buy all the tickets. Like once you buy all the tickets, it should just like automatically let you do collect 40. Use all 40 at the same time. I hate events that are like this where it's like it's literally just time consuming. Now, I think on our free-to-play account, we are going to slow play this. Um, I don't think we're going to buy all 40 out of the gate. I think on the free-to-play, I might actually purchase them one at a time, which might be even worse. But getting that artifact chest for gems seems like a really good deal. However, once we do that, we are in 100% saving gems mode uh, for anniversary. Or not anniversary. Chinese New Year. There's the event I was looking for. We're up to 34. No, I don't I don't think we're hitting it early whatsoever. No. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Look at the shining chest. Yep, sorry, wrong rune combination. Again, it would be cool if we could have like manually done it. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Oh, we're coming down to the last couple. This is no bueno. I feel like it's showing the same thing every time, isn't it? Strawberry. Oh no, I guess it's not. Uh, yep, so we do the 40th one, and this is going to be the one where it actually works, right? Congratulations. Why, thank you very much, game, for wasting all that time. Oh, that was so tedious. So, um, yeah, we end up with an artifact selection box. Sadly, though, there's no auspicious lucky cat, which I really wanted on the free-to-play account, but I guess we are not going to get that. Uh, I guess we can kind of start collecting like elusive mirrors or golden crowns or something like that. I don't know exactly what I want to build for our first transcendence hero when it comes. But yeah, we got uh, so many wishing coins. We're to the point where we have how many? Yeah, like I said, we almost have a thousand wishing coins at this point, which is just <laughs> so tedious. We are going to do 2000 scrolls here this week because we did buy the relay. We are also going to um, have this whole bonus tier right here. We're going to have all these things right here, which is pretty good. So, yeah, we're going to do 2,000 summons. I think that is uh, not bad because we get 260 back from here. You get, what, 20? You get 80 back from doing the entire event. So, you're coming back with 340. So, not horrible. Plus, on top of that, we're getting crystals. We're getting cores of transcendence. I mean, I guess we're getting additional Patricia copies. We do have an early game account we're going to be testing this new hero Patricia on at E5. Uh, but I'm not expecting much out of this hero. Definitely not a first E5 hero or anything, but we will give it a try. That's this part. Tomorrow will probably be the give me everything. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know if you hit it early on the shadow chest, and I'll see you guys next time.